At the time of recording this class, Oracle has recently launched JavaScript Action Chain. Suppose in your application, if you don't see an option that is to create the JavaScript Action Chain, suppose I'm clicking on plus Action Chain and creating a new Action Chain. Let me just name this as First Action Chain and click on Create. That shouldn't be a space. Let me just remove the space and click on Create. It is creating a JSON action chain. Suppose if we go to the code, it is giving us the option only to create the JSON. If you are also facing this or not finding an option to make use of the JavaScript based action chain, then we will walk you through the detailed step in this class how to enable the JavaScript action chain in your application. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on developing applications with Oracle Visual Builder. From the table of content, we have to go to work with JavaScript Action Chain. Here you will see in detail description about how to use the JavaScript Action Chain, what is JavaScript Action Chain, about built-in actions available in the Action Chain, custom features, how to start an Action Chain, how to debug an Action Chain, so and so forth things. We hope you already know all the stuff. Now let's see how to enable the JavaScript action chain in your existing applications or the old projects which you are working as a maintenance or if you are creating a new application as well in your visual builder instance and you are not finding any option to make use of the JavaScript action chain because of your not updated instance and so forth things we will see in detail how to enable the action chain in this class. Now let me switch over to the visual builder instance. So for demonstration purpose I have already created an application something like this you see over here. So first thing you have to make sure you are making use of the minimum required version that is the release version and the jet version which makes use of the JavaScript action chain. Here if you see my default version over here is 2304 at least you should be having 2310 in order to make use of the JavaScript action chain. By the time you watch this class you will be having a newer version as well which is more than 2310 and it could be a latest release. Suppose if your visual builder instance has been upgraded such that your default version is greater than 2310 then it will be enabled by default. So this class is specifically for those applications or the instances of visual builder whose default version is prior to 2310. First thing is we have to update the version in order to update the version we have to click on this set custom version. So here we have to provide the runtime URL and the jet URL. I already have this handy in the notepad. Let me just copy this and paste it over here. Remove this and paste. That is 2310.00. Let me just copy the jet version as well. So this is the compatible jet version for this visual builder runtime. So once done click on apply. So you will get the confirmation on the right bottom corner saying custom versions have been updated. It's always a good practice to refresh the browser once you update your settings. So once done let me just go back to my application page that is the main page for my application. Now let's see whether the action chain is giving an option to make use of the JavaScript. Right now we don't get an option to select the JavaScript action chain. Let's see what it creates if we just create an action chain. Let me name this as second action chain. Click on create. So it is creating a JSON action chain. Suppose if you drag and drop it will be creating a flow something like this and you can verify from the code view. So it has not reflected the change over here so there could be some other thing which we are missing so that we will fix now let me just enable this folder view we have to go to this code view over here at the bottom just click on this then you will find this visual application.json file click on this so here we need to enable the feature that is code action chain i am already having this piece of code which we need to copy and paste that is features code chains enabled true so we need to copy paste that is before source version so if you have upgraded the version you can just make sure it is mentioned over here the version name as well correct that is source dot version one thing is you have to copy paste these features let me just format so that it will look very neat and clean for you that is features under feature we are enabling the code action chain that is code chains enabled is equal to true and the source version we are making to 2310 so we will refresh the browser it is always a good practice to refresh your browser whenever you make a changes to the core visual builder application files like the settings or the json files of the visual application now let me just go back to my main start actions page over here let me minimize this source view now if i click on this action chain here i am getting the option that is to select javascript or json now i will select the javascript action chain and i will name this as third action chain click on create this time it is creating an javascript based action chain so how you can verify i will place some actions over here that is one after the other and if i go to the code view here if you see this is in the javascript code 
So like this we can enable a JavaScript based and action chain in our application. Suppose if our runtime of our visual builder instance is making use of some older versions that is prior to 2310 or if you are working on a maintenance project in which the applications has been built by some developer two three years back and now you have come back to this application to do some enhancement and you want the javascript based action chain as javascript action chain comes with lot of options for ci cd purposes and all so you can have a look on this